morning, everyone. Welcome to the first session of the 56th Annual Convocation Ceremony of St. Clair College of Applied Arts and Technology. I am Biagio Latuka, Chair of Community Studies. It is my pleasure to act as Master of Ceremonies for today's program. St. Clair would like to first respectfully recognize and acknowledge that it occupies the traditional, ancestral, and contemporary lands of the three fire confederacies, territories of the Ojibwe, Odabwa, and the Tapatawatami nations. We acknowledge that many other tribes and indigenous nations that call this beautiful land home. We give thanks to the land and surrounding waters for sustaining us. I would like to acknowledge and thank today's piper, Andrew Kale, and interpreters, Kellyanne LaFleur and Christy Riem. Before we begin the formal part of the ceremony, I would like to make a few announcements. We are pleased to advise that your UTB locally uncodable cable will air this session of convocation. For times, visit stclairalumni.com. We are also live streaming this session at www.stclaircollege.ca. Please set your cell phones to silent during the ceremony. Guests are asked to remain in their seats during graduation. We also ask that the graduates stay in their seats until the ceremony is complete. I would like now to call St. Clair College President, Dr. Patty France, to provide some opening remarks. Thank you, Biagio. On behalf of the college's administration and the entire St. Clair family of employees, it is my pleasure to welcome you to this convocation ceremony. To our many guests who are in the audience or looking in via our live streaming broadcast, and to the scholars who will be transformed from students into graduates when they cross the stage to receive their diplomas, certificates, and degrees. Bear with me, please, as I tell you a little story. Every year, the college honors half a dozen past graduates with their Alumni of Distinction Awards. One of the 2023 recipients of that program will be addressing you shortly as our guest speaker. I was surprised as I looked back on some of the recent Alumni of Distinction because some of them graduated from academic programs that had absolutely nothing to do with their subsequent professional careers. For instance, just to name a few. One of this year's recipients was Bob Belichico. You may know him as one of this area's most popular TV broadcasters. So, Bob graduated from St. Clair's journalism program, right? No. He earned his diploma in 1994 in business advertising. But as far as we know, he never designed or sold an ad in his life. Ray Tengade of the Electrical Engineering Technology Program, class of 1972, was named of Alumni of Distinction in 2003, but not for his work in electrical engineering. He was recognized instead for being the president of Toyota Canada. Maybe the most unusual Alumni of Distinction bio is that of Dave Merhedge, who was honored in 2021. Dave graduated from the Business Marketing Program in 2003. In the two decades since then, did he become a hugely successful commercial entrepreneur or the CEO of a huge retail chain? No. Dave took his business marketing diploma and became one of North American's top comedians and comic actors. Maybe my own story is pertinent as well. My first post-secondary credential was from St. Clair College in computer programming. Yet. Here I am today, standing before you as one of Ontario's two dozen college presidents. What's my point in telling you these rather interesting stories? It's to emphasize to you that your college education, your St. Clair experience, prepared you for more than the occupational field associated with your specific academic program. We believe that we have instilled in you also the fundamental skills, work habits, entrepreneurial spirit, and self-confidence to tackle unforeseen but exciting new opportunities throughout your impending careers. We also hope that we have created a love of lifelong learning so that you'll keep up to speed 
and up to date with all of the evolving knowledge and skills in your chosen occupations during the coming years. So as we send you off into the world, many initially on a professional path related to your academic program, please remain open to the unimagined and surprising opportunities that will spring up throughout your life. Many of them may, at the time, seem to be off track and even crazy challenges, but believe me, they'll be worth the effort, even the courage that you may have to exert to grasp them. I believe in you, St. Clair College believes in you, and I'm quite certain that your family and friends who are here with us today believe in you, just as they believed in you and encouraged you throughout your recent academic quest. Moms, dads, grandparents, sisters, brothers, husbands, wives, significant others, and friends, today is also very much an achievement for you as well, as we recognize the invaluable support that you have provided to these graduates during the past year or two or three of their college careers. All of you have the college's appreciation and gratitude for your contributions to their success. Speaking of families, as you graduate today, graduates, you'll be joining a new one today. As soon as you cross the stage and have your diploma in hand, you will have acquired an additional 130,000 new relatives in the form of all of your fellow graduates from the college's 55 years of existence. Today, you'll automatically become a member of the St. Clair College Alumni Association. Please stay in touch with the association in the years to come because we want to track your adventures journey throughout your life if you're ever to be nominated for our Alumni of Distinction Award. I am confident that there are potential, countless, rewarding, exciting career achievements that await you. Congratulations again, Saints. Well done. Thank you, President France. Jean Piccinato, Chair of Board of Governors, will now deliver greetings from the board. On behalf of St. Clair College Board of Governors, I congratulate you on your graduation today. Your hard work, dedication, and perseverance has paid off. You should be incredibly proud of your accomplishments. As you walk across the stage, you will receive a tangible symbol of the effort and determination that you exhibited as you worked to earn your certificates, diplomas, and degrees. You have proven to yourselves and to the world that you have what it takes to succeed, and we are privileged to have played a part in your journey. At St. Clair College, we believe in rising above the ordinary. Our marketing and branding slogans reflect this, with phrases like, St. Strong, start here, go anywhere. We strive to provide our students with an exceptional education that prepares them for success in whatever path they choose. Since 1967, St. Clair College has been committed to providing our students with the tools they need to achieve their goals. We are proud to have been part of your journey and look forward to seeing all that you will accomplish in the future. As you progress in your careers, remember the lessons you learned at St. Clair College. Use the skills you have acquired to positively impact the world and continue to strive for excellence in everything you do. I want to personally thank the friends and family that are here today or watching online for their encouragement and support throughout your time at St. Clair College. We join together to celebrate your accomplishments. The board would also like to acknowledge and thank our faculty and staff for their role in your journey. Once again, congratulations, class of 2023, on your graduation. We wish you all the best in your future endeavors and look forward to seeing you rise above the ordinary. Thank you. Thank you, Jean. 
I would like to now reintroduce John Fairley, Vice President, College Communications and Community Relations and Executive Director, St. Clair College Foundations, who will introduce our guest speaker. <clears throat> this is the 30th year in which the college has recognized the successes and contributions of former students who have excelled in the vocation and contributed to their community. Each alumnus of distinction has been on a unique journey since they graduated from the college. Today you will hear from Cheryl Sprague, class of 1978, Early Childhood Education. She is the executive director and founder of the Delta Chi Beta ECE Learning Centers throughout our region. Cheryl is a dedicated advocate for children and a prominent figure in Windsor-Essex community. With over 35 years of experience in early childhood education, Cheryl um, has operated, Cheryl's company has operated 13 centers and employs over 100 early childhood educators in our region. Cheryl's passion for helping children began when she first opened the first Delta Chi uh, Beta Early Childhood Center in 1986 on Olette Avenue. She believes that early childhood education is a crucial time for a child's growth and development, and her centers strive to provide children with a rich and rewarding experience during this critical period. Cheryl is also president of the Windsor-Essex Children's Aid Foundation Board of Directors, where she continues to champion the well-being of children in our community. Please welcome our 2023 Alumna of Distinction, representing our School of Community Studies, Cheryl Sprague. Thank you, John. Good morning, 2023 graduates of Community Studies. Gives me great pleasure to be here today addressing you and your family and friends. Congratulations on achieving this important milestone in your academic and personal journey. As Mr. Farley said, my name is Cheryl Sprague, and I am the founder and executive director of Delta Chi Early Childhood Centers in Windsor. And I am a very proud graduate of St. Clair College in the early child education. And um, I wasn't going to tell you the year because it's really not important. <laughs> but John, let that out of the bag. What is important, though, is that all of the hard work, time, and energy that you have put into your classes, placements, assignments, and exams has finally successfully paid off. You are now graduates, so congratulations. <laughs> for some of you, the last few years probably flew by. Well, for others, you thought it was never going to come. Whatever your journey looked like to get to where you are here today, be proud of it and know that we are proud of you, the members of the St. Clair College alumni family. Reflecting on my own journey, I can't help but laugh. I started out as a nursing student until I realized I was not a fan of blood. <laughs> but that didn't stop me. I changed course and I pursued early childhood education. But little did I know at that time, or even when I graduated, where that decision would take me and my family. I can tell you, it has been a wonderful journey. So where will life take you? St. Clair has provided you with the tools and skills to be employed in a certain field or industry, but what will you do with them? Well, if you are an EC graduate, I happen to know of some local centers who are hiring, <laughs> so give me a call. <laughs> but let's be serious for a minute. Allow me to please speak directly to the ECE grads for just a moment. This is an important time in the history of our industry. Governments are making access to childcare more affordable and more spaces are greatly needed. And our communities desperately need you working and utilizing the excellent training that you have received here at St. Clair College. You are joining a very rewarding calling. So go boldly and be a positive influence in a little one's lives. Now back to everyone. You're starting the chapter. 
How will you write it? Allow me to challenge you with three key things. First, work hard. An employer, as an employer, nothing separates employees from one another like those who work hard. And yes, those first few years are going to be challenging and could require long days and tiring nights. But if you work hard, good things will happen. And trust me, employers invest and reinvest in employees who they see working hard. Second, be passionate. Whether it's the part-time job you're doing now or the career you find yourself in, be passionate about it. Find an aspect of that job, a single task even, that you do and be passionate about it. We can all recall those individuals we have encountered that are truly passionate about their jobs. And we can recall those people because it was a unique and a positive experience. So be one of those individuals who stick out in people's minds. Finally, be a people person. Here's the secret. It's all about relationships. No one successful has ever gotten there on their own. We've all had some help. So stay in contact with your teachers, your old bosses, friends, friends' parents. And when you meet someone, be friendly. Genuinely find out about them. Share about yourselves. And don't lose their contacts. You will be surprised where life takes them as much as where life will take you. Set your sights on a good life, one that has a good work-life balance. Live boldly, take risks, and follow your instincts. Aspire to make a difference in this world and be sure and find someone to share this life with. And as you find success in your life, Remember to reach your hand out and help others along the way. I am so very excited for what life has for you and the mark that you are going to make on our communities. So work hard, be passionate, and be a very proud St. Clair College graduate. I certainly am. Thank you, and have a great day. Thank you, Cheryl. I would now like to call upon Ron Segan to President the Student Leadership Medal. Good morning. The Student Leadership Medal is awarded to a graduating student who has demonstrated strong academic achievement and has contributed to promoting the campus environment through the relationships with staff and fellow students. I would like Michaela Heath to join me on stage. On behalf of St. Clair College, I am a pleased, I'm pleased to announce Michaela Heath as the recipient of the 2023 Student Leadership Medal for the Windsor campuses. Michaela will graduate from the Community and Justice Services Program. During her two years of study, Michaela consistently became a leader within the classroom and in the community. Michaela took a role in a very challenging environment mentoring women with addiction issues. This student excelled in this placement, earning high praise from the agency and received their evaluation of her work, all of it exceeding expectations. Michaela is the Vice President of the Border and Justice Club and has organized and participated in club fundraising events to increase engagement within the club. Michaela participated in the Goodfellows paper drive and organized a clothing collection for local women's shelters, which provided local shelters with a significant amount of women's and children's clothing, as well as a monetary donation. Outside of school, Michaela 
actively volunteers with victim services of Windsor and Essex County by attending monthly meetings and participating in all training sessions offered. Michaela's responsibilities include assisting victims of crime and tragedy and providing victims with support, information, and referrals. We are grateful for Michaela for her advocacy efforts on behalf of all students and her commitment to the program, to the community, and we wish her the best wishes and continued success in all her future endeavors. I would now like to call upon Dr. Patty France to present the President's Medal. Thank you, Biagio. The President's Medal is awarded to a graduating student who has demonstrated outstanding academic achievement combined with meaningful participation and leadership during the student's years here at St. Clair College. I would ask Caitlin Massad to please join me on stage. On behalf of Sinclair College, I am so pleased to announce Caitlin Massad as the recipient of the 2023 President's Medal for the Windsor campuses. Today, during the 56th Annual Convocation, Caitlin will graduate from the Honours Bachelor of Applied Arts and Social Justice and Legal Studies program. Caitlin has been an active member of the college community. She has displayed exemplary leadership qualities, all while maintaining a 3.5 GPA. Caitlin has held leadership positions with multiple student clubs and has initiated and participated in campus committees. Caitlin volunteers to several causes within the community, most notably with Windsor Family Homes and Community Partnerships. Her involvement with Windsor Family Homes and Community Partnerships is significant with a focus on program development and fundraising. Through her efforts, Caitlin has significantly impacted the organization's ability to secure new funding for local programs that support residents in the downtown core. This support includes expanded access to services, improved quality of life, increased community engagement, or other positive outcomes that align with the organization's goals. Caitlin was awarded the 2023 Senior Women's Academic Administrators of Canada Student Leadership Award for Colleges. This award recognizes outstanding academic performance and shows evidence of leadership in student organizations, participation on committees, organization of special events, and involvement in advocacy groups. This is the first time a St. Clair College student has ever won this award. We are so grateful to Caitlin for her advocacy efforts and her commitment to her program in the community. We wish her continued success and best wishes with her recent acceptance into law school. Congratulations again, Caitlin. I would now like to reintroduce Senior Vice President, Academic and College Operations, Wasim Habash, to acknowledge our award winners. Good morning, Saints. The Faculty Academic Award is designed to recognize a graduating student in each program, full or part-time, who has best demonstrated academic excellence. 
The Student Leadership Award recognizes the graduating student in each program, again, part-time or full-time, who best combines academic achievement and leadership. The recipients of the Faculty Academic Award and the recipients of the Student Leadership Award will be acknowledged when their names are announced during the ceremony. I would like to congratulate the recipients of these special awards. Graduates, convocation is the formal recognition of your achievements. You've worked very hard, so celebrate this accomplishment. It is well deserved. There is one other group here today that also deserve to be recognized. These are the remarkable, dedicated faculty here at St. Clair College who have contributed to your success. Graduates, I would ask that you please join me in thanking your faculty for all their efforts to make this day a reality for you. Thank you. We have come to the formal part of our ceremony where the diplomas, certificates, and degrees will be awarded and become official documents of the college. Would the graduates please stand if able. I would like to call upon President Dr. Patty France and Vice President, Academic and Registrar, Michael Salvaggi to the podium. Good morning, everyone. Madam President, it is my privilege to report to you that the candidates here assembled have qualified in all respects for diplomas, certificates, and degrees offered by several divisions of St. Clair College. They have been recommended by their faculty to be awarded these credentials in recognition of their academic accomplishments. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Governors of St. Clair College, I do hereby confer on your respective diplomas, certificates, and degrees with all of the honors, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Madam President, on behalf of the graduates not present, I request that you confer their diplomas, certificates, and degrees in absentia. I so do. Thank you. Please be seated. During the next part of the program, we will present the graduates individually to the Board of Governors and President Dr. France to receive congratulations. While the first of our graduates are making their way to the stage, I would like to tell you about the stole and hood. The stolen hood have a long history within academics, originating in the 15th century Europe in the age of great artists, scholars, and explorers of the Renaissance. Today, the stolen hood symbolizes recognition of an individual who is now prepared to assume a responsible and creative role in the community. St. Clair graduates of one, two, or three-year certificates or diplomas receive a custom stole that is draped over their shoulders to signify acceptance into the alumni community and denote achievements in academics. St. Clair College graduates of a four-year honors bachelor's degree receive a custom hood to signify acceptance into the alumni community and denote achievement in academics. The color of the velvet trim indicates the area of study in which, which the degrees was granted. Both the hood and stole are specially designed for our graduates and celebrate tradition within St. Clair College and Saints Nation. Members of the Board of Governors, on the recommendation of our teaching faculty, it is my pleasure 
to present you the graduates, diplomas, and certificates and degrees from the School of Community Studies. I have the honor to present the graduates in the Autism and Behavioral Science program. Alicia Armstrong. <laughs> Gerald Vibayan, graduating with academic distinction. Stency Syriac. Komal Chirag Kumar Dokia. Tanzil Nasruddin Dodia. Allison Dufour, graduating with academic distinction. Jacob Fricky, graduating with academic distinction. Maria Loyola Jessaraja. Desi Joseph, graduating with academic distinction. Karina Kotari, graduating with academic distinction. Avery Lachine. Joyce Lucos. Jesslyn Matthew. Nandini Munsomi, graduating with academic distinction. Anashwara Munde Yorvalapil Sanjayan. Nihana Parvin. Venetia Rose. Anjali Ann Sabu. Nadia Monica Santian Bernal, graduating with academic distinction. Anna Maria Senor Herrera. Ashwati Sunil Kumar Kolamparam. Adithyan Vazhathara Raj. Abahi Varghese. <laughs> Meredith Bryant. Nishka Shah. Anushuka Garj. I have the honor to present the graduates in the Board of Services program. Jan Adam. Fawad Aguero Sakafi. Jafet Alejandro Aguero Sakafi. Salah Aldin Alsahu. Udit Aneja. Rita Atala. Emma Avalar. Alexis Botterell, graduating with academic distinction. McKenna Brasso. Nicholas Chartrand.
Evan Court. Stefano Serino. Jade Crawford. Austin Croteau. Shane Deppelsmaker. Petro Dinha. Aaron Donnelly. Keith Nee Dorsley. Magnum Fodor. Evan Gajero, graduating with academic distinction, also receiving the Faculty Academic Award. Celeste Goulard. Sophia Henry. Thongjar Keror. Iyui King. Benjamin Lojeski. Maxwell McDonald. Michaela Malosh. Victor Morasuti. Alex Raphael Rawlings. Majd Rahmani. Noor Ramadan. Lynn Syed Ahmad. Jessica Scott. Martino Smith. Owen Smith. Cole Tatro. Jamie Thwaites. Matteo Vasile. Carter Westwood. Brooke Wilburn. Darius Wilson. I have the honor to present the graduates in the Community and Justice Services Program. Louie Busi. Irene Ewaka. Tabitha Gomes. Michaela Heath receiving the Student Leadership Medal and the Student Leadership Award. Jamie Lee Kennedy, receiving the Faculty Academic Award. Daniel McNeely. Ashley Sandy. Brianna Schiller. Madeline Taylor.
Paige White. I have the honor to present the graduates in the Community Integration Through Cooperative Education Program. Sabrina Batamariza. Mackenzie Fecto. Grace Thiessen. Carissa Masonville. Caitlin Marantet. Andre Ferguson. <laughs> Stefan Francic. <laughs> Zoe Zignac Goulet, graduating with academic distinction, also receiving the Student Leadership Award. Adam Legault, graduating with academic distinction, also receiving the Faculty Academic Award. Julia LePayne. Jordan Rampersad. Shane Rustin. Alex Lee, graduating with academic distinction. Evan McConnell. Tyler David Meyer. Michael Toma. Aiden Weigel. I have the honor to present the graduates in the Early Childhood Education Program. Taylor Sinclair. Marie Albano. Emma Allen. Madison Beans. Josie Benito. Felicia Bowie. Anna Laura Busio Soria. Burabari Iju. Serenity Finch. Jade Flaming. Chelsea Gagne, receiving the Faculty Academic Award. Ramandeep Kaur Gill. Giovanna Governali. Oh. 
Nadia Green. Dur Afshan Ali. Mara Kakat. Clara Najib Thomas. Gersharan Kaur. Harman Kaur. Harman Deep Kaur. Harpreet Kaur. Karamjeet Kaur. Navdeep Kaur. Sahijpreet Kaur. Sumandeep Kaur. Kritika Kritika. Haley Jean Luton. <laughs> Olivia Mazrecki. Masika Nzondero. Isabel Parsons. Mike Patsoris. Jenny Pickle, graduating with academic distinction, also receiving the Student Leadership Award. Emily Price, graduating with academic distinction. Mosamed Hassan. Maya Rantawa. Ritika Ritika. Megan Rubidge, graduating with academic distinction. Gurpreet Singh. Marissa Thorpe. Alicia Warrington, graduating with academic distinction. Matthew Zinger. Deep Kamaljeet Kaur. Rose Malcolm. Brandy Perrin. I have the honor to present the graduates in the Educational Support Program. Devin Bazella, graduating with academic distinction, also receiving the Faculty Academic Award. James Campbell. Keegan Dagui. Acacia Carter. Stevon Hanna. Bria Janik. Alexis Jenkins Polk.
Kelsey Mood. Maya Palumbo. Cassandra Randall. Regan Rogers. Felicia Saad, receiving the Student Leadership Award. Tristan Zuderveen. Alexandria Thrasher. Enrique Weeb Banman. I have the honor to present the graduates in the Honors Bachelors of Applied Arts in the Social Justice and Legal Studies program. And to note, this is our first graduating cohort. Armand Avolio. Trinity Davis. Madison DeCoke. Samantha Elford. Evan Ferguson. Megan Hacker. <laughs> Jenna Lynn Hillman. Tiana Johnson. Felicia Lopez. Jordan Mady. Bailey Mayu. Caitlin Massad, receiving the President's Medal and the Student Leadership Award. <laughs> Tina Medvedevich. Allison Piraway. Carly Stark. Ethan Story. Josefina 
Tuhan. Hey. Ashley Sullivan. Sabrina Tola. Cassidy Verbeek. Brittany Warlock. Tanachaya Wangwillard. Sarah Wessel. I have the honor to present the graduates in the liberal arts program. Mary Lynn Bergaman, receiving the Student Leadership Award. Alyssa Gersoy. Aaron Michael Holmes. Jordan Pelche. Rajvinder Singh. Charles Toth, graduating with academic distinction. I have the honor to present the graduates in the paralegal program. Johanna DeVries. I have the honor to present their graduates in the Police Foundations program. Yamil Arakilian. Bethany Bowen. Connor Brown. Garrett Brown. Danielle Burt, graduating with academic distinction, also receiving the Faculty Academic Award. Nolan Chansamone. Antonio Champa receiving the Student Leadership Award. Ariana Catherine Champa. Cole Dumouchel. Roman Falsetta. Mark Gallopo. Devin Gao. Avery Hijack. Amar Kala. Celine Knight. Sean Logan. Olivia Makdo. 
Christopher Marcoux. <laughs> Tia Marion. <laughs> Spencer Morse. <laughs> Heaven Nolan Johnston. Cole Poisson. Madison Robinson. Ethan Shirk. Jacob Smeltzer. Tyler Stone. Michael Wagner, graduating with academic distinction. Savio Yusuf. Mitchell Anderson. Selena Shaw. Brianna Yaraj. Kendra Bean. I have the honor to present the graduates in the Protection, Security, and Investigation Program. Dylan Boyle. Mallory Cole, graduating with academic distinction. Natalia Andrea Cortinez Villa. Faith Newman. Petra Pascariu. Evan Pruin. Beata Shimirimana. Michael Seedam. John Paul Abidi. Chloe Andreoff. I have the honor to present the graduates in the Social Service Worker Gerontology Program. Alexis Arias. Olivia Bondi. Haley Branton. Amritpal Singh Chandan, receiving the Student Leadership Award. Dina Columba. Mervat Alainin. Samia Taye. Bhavna Jos. Jaspreet Kaur. Mandeep Kaur. Mandeep Kaur. Navneet Kaur. Prabdeep Kaur. Ramandeep Kaur. 
Ramandeep Kaur. Rupanjit Kaur. Shubdeep Kaur. Trinity Knight. Lydia Coria. Jie Lin. Graduating with academic distinction, also receiving the Faculty Academic Award. Mansi Maheshbhai Makwana. Kristen Malosh. Nung Nago. Anu Mol Papachan. Anjali Belalbhai Patel. Darshini Juhil Patel. Devakshi Parishkumar Patel. Stephanie Perry. Tiha Pham. Vanessa Rivard. Aditi Seni. Waller Sai. Maha Shah. Paulina Martinez Morales. Hardeep Kaur Jinger. Ashley Menard. Nigel Satashi. Kayla Simpson. Amber Van Wadigam. This concludes the graduates in the School of Community Studies. I would now like to call upon Dr. Stephanie DeFranceschi, Chair, School of Health Sciences. Thank you, Biagio. Members of the Board of Governors, on the, on the recommendation of our teaching faculty, it is my pleasure to present to you the graduates for diplomas, certificates, and degrees from the School of Health Sciences. I have the honor to present the graduates in the dental hygiene program. Al Mortada Al Hilali. Emily Anthony. Tiara Bernabe. Adriana Bays. Yvonne Deutsch. Brittany Donahue. Sophia Folia. Samantha Hamilton. Shaylin Hardy. Rachel Herdman, graduating with academic distinction, 
also receiving the Faculty Academic Award. Stephanie Jones. Allison Jovanovsky. Saloni Modi. Destiny Nadi. Ashley Oswald. Sarah Reno, graduating with academic distinction. Lydia Ruel. Yara Skuria. Eva Sansoda. Cassidy Tu. Aaron Yetman. I have the honor to present the graduates in the Fitness and Health Promotion Program. Kamal Preet Arora. Julian Brato. Cody Shortis. Chelsea Cloutier, graduating with academic distinction. Manjot Kaur. Manfred Kaur. Sukman Kaur. Muskan Shabir Mala. Alan Kamleshbai Parmar. Hasti Patel. Himangi Virchanbai Patel. Kushbu Piyushbai Patel. Carter Ray. Lavenia May Sabaron. Austin Tilson, graduating with academic distinction, also receiving the Faculty Academic Award and the Student Leadership Award. Anjali Sureshbhai Umralia. Shine Verma. Jacqueline Yuchin. I have the honor to present the graduates in the paramedic program. Anthony Baltes. Jaden Cecile. Caitlin Dufresne. Natalie Ennis, receiving the Faculty Academic Award. Joshua Fuchs. Stephanie Karam, receiving the Student Leadership Award. Madeline McDonald. Jeffrey McKenzie. Owen Matthews. Lily Pattinson. Raymond Prieur. Connor Prochel. Cole Rasico. Tiana Richardson. Natalie Turner.
Kaylee Kunalti. Aiden Drago. I have the honor to present the graduates in the respiratory therapy program. Rebecca Bryans, receiving the Student Leadership Award. Melanie Burney. Riley Davis. Abby Ebel. Jocelyn Lucas. Prachi Patel. Logan Polkinghorn, receiving the Faculty Academic Award. Dipankar Roy. Matthew Simone. I have the honor to present the graduates in the Vegetarian Technician Program. Jenna Barton. Daniela Balletti. Courtney Campagna, receiving the Student Leadership Award. Kathleen Doyle, graduating with academic distinction. Perry Eller. <laughs> Megan Eyre. <laughs> Liera Kilt. <laughs> Megan Myers. Nellie Neufeld. Janelle Pereira. Megan Rossala, receiving the Faculty Academic Award. Maya Rushika. Aaron Shalhorn. Rosemary Schiller. Shauna Segan. Brianna Selman. Sheree Smith. Carmen Uribe Medellin. Bailey Vandenberg. Maria Vukovic. Juliana Welsh. Carly Woolman. This concludes the graduates from the School of Health Sciences. I would now like to call upon Monica Stelebyang, Dean, School of Health Sciences and School of Nursing. Thank you, Biagio. Members of the Board of Governors, on the recommendation of our teaching faculty, it is my pleasure to present to you the graduates for diplomas, certificates and degrees from the School of Nursing. I have the honor to present the graduates in the Practical Nursing Program. Emma Bole. <laughs> I 
I now have the honor to present the graduates in the Pre-Health Sciences Pathway to Advanced Diplomas and Degrees. Rafael Cimino. Pedro Enrique Dos Santos Nowinski. Kirsten Ducharme. Arissa Hansen, graduating with academic distinction, also receiving the Faculty Academic Award. Kiara Harris, graduating with academic distinction. Ashlyn Ladasur Dewar. Jana Latkovac. Grace Lopez. Olufemi Oladunjoye. Kim Perena, graduating with academic distinction. Hiral Ben Patel. Amisha Anvarali Charania. Yashvi Dipak Kumar Purohit. Vidiben Bhaveshbhai Ahir. Yash Samir Kumar Acharya. Amtul Shakur. Anurit Kaur. Sharandeep Singh. Jessica Wathier. Maria White. Noosh Paluka. Dashida Harashkumar Patel. Michaela Sackman. This concludes the graduates from the School of Nursing. This concludes the conferring of diplomas and certificates. At this time, I would like to reintroduce Belinda Bojos, Executive Vice President of the St. Clair College Alumni Association. Thank you. Greetings, graduates of St. Clair College, the class of 2023. On behalf of the Alumni Board, I want to tell you how proud we all are of you for graduating from your studies at St. Clair College. You are now officially members of the St. Clair College Alumni Association. You may wonder what that means for you. It is so much more than the years of wonderful memories, faculty, friends, and other events at the college. You have been on the foundation of graduates since 1967. You now have a huge network of alumni. This alumni family of 130,000 graduates provides you with a special connection. You will meet, I'm sorry, wherever you go. You will be surprised on how many people you will meet in the future who will tell you that they are graduates of St. Clair College too. Our graduates not only live in our region, but also across the province of Ontario, in many places in Canada, and around the world. So please, stay connected with us. Follow us on LinkedIn, Instagram, and Facebook. Watch for our monthly newsletters that will keep you up to date on life at the college and what's happening in the stories of our many alumni. The Alumni Association holds events just for you 
our alumni. We will launch an Alumni Perks app with college affinity partners and businesses that will provide discounts and services for you to take advantage of. Watch for the announcement on our social media platforms. The Alumni Association is proud to call you family. It will stand with the college for networking, upgrading, and meeting your needs as your journey officially begins today from St. Clair College for decades to come. You are now part of the nation, Saints Nation, where we are all Saints strong. Congratulations. Thank you, Belinda. At this time, I would like to reintroduce Dr. Lindy Prendy, Executive Director, Center of Academic Excellence and Quality Assurance. Thank you, Biagia. Could the audience please rise, if able, for the closing reflection? Please join me in this closing reflection. Together we ask that all our graduates be filled with joy and peace. May they have success and happiness throughout the years. May they bring honor and wisdom to their own lives, their families, their communities, and our country. And may they be filled with the desire to learn new things throughout their lives. We ask this according to the terms of our individual faith. Please be seated. This concludes the first session of the 56th Annual Convocation of St. Clair College. We ask that the audience please remain seated until the faculty and graduates have left the main floor. Graduates, your faculty who are in attendance are making themselves available for pictures with you. Please look for your program sign in the concourse level. Graduates, guests, family, and staff, please enjoy today's reception sponsored by your Alumni Association immediately following the ceremony. Congratulations, Class of 2023.